Hi everyone, it's Suzanne here. Thanks for joining me for another Monday Makes video. Today I'm using this stamp set called Birthday Blossoms and I am using a unique paper called Strathmore Smooth Bristol for pen and ink paper. It's not a water pa watercolor paper. It's um, a special paper for ink and pens and it allows me to use my stamp and write markers like they were alcohol inks. So more on that in a little bit. I'm just using my archival black here to stamp those little teeny tiny blossoms and then I'm using a thinlet, well a framelit really, uh, to draw a black line around my card front just as a unique little um, addition. I don't think I've ever made a card like this before, so I kind of like the way that the flowers sort of interrupted that little line. So I'm using the same archival black for the have a beautiful birthday. So here I am using my pink pirouette and I'm coloring all over the little blossoms. I'll give you a closer view of the actual coloring of that big blossom that's on the top of the screen there. So I'm, not, I'm really not being exceptionally careful at all. Now I'm laying down my darkest color, which is rose red. And it's sort of a pinky red actually. And then I'm going in with the Calypso Coral in between for my medium blend. And look at how that ink is blending. Like it's kind of nutty. This is almost like an alcohol ink. I'm actually getting a nice smooth blend. Um, the cardstock is set, is exceptionally thin. It's not or smooth, I should say. It's not like watercolor. It um, it seems to just allow that ink to properly do its thing. It's so smooth. It's just like a regular cardstock. And sometimes I know that when you're trying to blend colors using regular cardstock does have a tendency to pill and it just doesn't have a very good outcome. So I'm actually really pleased with this paper. I should actually own shares because I can't say enough about it. So anyway, here I am just coloring just a little bit. Um, I went on the banner, very light, medium, and now with my dark shade. And then I'm actually going to use a uh, wet or a damp uh, paintbrush just to smooth those colors out and so you can see how the colors actually move on this paper so it's similar to watercolor paper it holds up better than cardstock but it's uh, oop, and I made a mistake um, but it's quite lovely so I quite like this stamp set I I've had it for a long time and I haven't been using it and last couple of cards I made out of it I'm really enjoying there it's feminine but not too bad. Okay, so uh, I fussy cut the little uh, blossom out and then I'm adhering the card front completely to a 1 8 border of the pink pirouette cardstock and then I am adhering those two pieces directly to my rose red piece. So I put just a little bit of a tiny border around it and I like the outcome. So I'm going to go in with my So Saffron and uh, a little bit of water and paint up those centers of the flowers. And I am, of course, adding Wink of Stella to, you know, everything <laughs> because I love it. So yeah, there's the... Um, the centers of the flowers are finally getting painted and I'll put a few uh, rhinestones on and that is my card for the day. So thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.